Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to create assignment categories and how to give each category a percentage. So what you'll do is in Canvas, you're going to go down to where it says assignments and click on that. If you're starting for the first time, you'll get a screen that looks like this. Now it gives you automatically one assignment. What you'll do is you'll come over here. If I want to change this, you click on the ellipsis, the three buttons right here, click edit, and you can change the group name. So let's say, for example, I want to give this class slash homework, click save, and notice it says assignment group was saved successfully. Now, if you ever want to change the name again, you just click the ellipsis right here and click edit. If you want to delete it, you click delete. Now, what you'll do next is you will click plus group. Do not click plus assignment unless you want to create some type of assignment for the students. But if you want to create your different assignment categories like homework, quizzes, test, you'll click plus group. So I'm going to add a couple real quick warm ups. Notice it's saved right here. Add another one plus group. Okay, that's it for now. So I have these five assignment categories that I've created again by going to plus group. Now, if for some reason you want to order these, you just click on the eight dots right here on the left of the name and you just drag up and down. And you set that. Now, after you've created your assignment groups, go up to the ellipsis up here next to the blue assignment button and click on that. And you're going to go to assignment groups wait. It's blank, but you need to click on this box that's next to wait final grade based on assignment groups. And here you will see the percentages that you can set each of these two. So just for example, I might set each of these to 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. Notice how when I added the numbers, the total automatically set right here so I can see that it equals to 100%. When you are ready, click save. And notice on the right hand side, the percentages for each assignment group are listed. So if your school's gradebook is synced to Canvas, then you're able to automatically populate the grades from Canvas to your school gradebook. Now, if again, you want to change the percentages, click on assignment settings, click on assignment groups, wait. And just real quick, if I click on this, it goes back to blank, but if I click on it again, it's still there. So no worry if you accidentally click it and then you're worried if you deleted everything, it'll still be there. Now there are a couple ways that you can assign assignments to students. You can do it through assignments, through quizzes, and through discussions. Let me start with assignment. Let me click on assignment. Now, even though I am in the assignment category, I don't have to use this strictly for assignments. So on the last page, I gave class homework as 20%, but maybe I want to use this assignment feature for a project, or maybe I want to use it for a quiz. I would just make sure that I title the assignment, whatever it is that I want to count it as. So for example, if I want this to be a project, I would title it project and maybe I'll say skeletal system. And then what you'll do is you'll scroll down and where it says assignment group, this is where you'll assign it to whatever group that you set. So I have class homework, warm ups, discussion boards, projects, quizzes. And so because I want to let my students know that even though the title right here says assignments, I'm creating this as a project and I'm going to grade it as such. And so I want to make sure that I click assignment group projects. Then before you click save, you have to select the submission type for the assignment. So this is the assignment feature. You can do no submission online on paper, external tool, just because this is an example for you. I'm going to click online and I'm just going to select all of these. I'm not going to fill out the rest of this. However, click save. And so this project was created under assignments. Now I'm going to go back to the assignments part and notice how again, in the assignments feature, I created a project making sure that I selected the project category and it placed it right here underneath projects. So it's going to be worth 25% of their grade. Let me show you the quiz feature. Click on quizzes. When you want to create a new quiz, click plus quiz. I'm going to select classic quizzes for this video. 
Now again, just like the assignments, even though it says quizzes here, you can use the quiz feature for whatever you want. I like to use it for warm-ups, for quick checks, sometimes for quizzes, but I will make sure that I title it so that way my students know what it is because sometimes they'll panic. They'll see the feature quiz and they're like, is this a quiz? I'm like, no, look at the title. So warm-up, I'll select one that was already pre-titled. I like to use a quiz feature because of the question types, matching, multiple choice, so on and so forth, but I'll save that for another video. After you've titled and you set your questions, scroll down. Again, where it says assignment group, click to where you want to add it. So even though I'm using the quiz feature, I titled it warm up because I want to use it as a warm up. So I'm going to click on warm up. If I decided to use a quiz feature for class or homework, then I would make sure I click that. So I'm going to click warm ups. And then you select all this. Again, I'll save that for another video. Scroll down, either save or save and publish. Again, if you click save and publish, then the students will be able to access it. I'm just going to save it for right now. Now, if I want to see that this added to the warm up feature, I'm going to go back to assignments. And now notice that the warm up that I created using the quiz feature is under warm ups. It's not under quizzes because that's not what I want to count it as. Let me do one more with discussions. Same idea, just because it says discussions, you can use it for whatever you want, quizzes, homework, etc. Click plus discussion. Title it accordingly. So this time I'm going to use it as a discussion. Discussion, what would you like to know? And I'm going to scroll down. When you scroll down, notice that you will not see an assignment group, points, or anything like that. And this is because you have to click graded. So then scroll down, you'll see assignment group, you'll see you'll be able to change the points. So I want to just use this as a discussion, so I'm going to click discussion. And either save and publish, save, I'll click save. Let me go back to assignments. Again, assignments is where you'll go to see all the assignment categories. And my discussion was created under the discussion board because that's where I wanted it. So let me review real quick. This is how you create your assignment categories. You go to assignments click on plus group. When you click on that, you can give your group a name, add as many as you like. Then if you want to give percentages, you click on the ellipsis right here, click assignment groups weight. Make sure that you click this box, then it'll give you all these boxes that you can fill in and it'll auto populate the total. Click save and then it will save your percentages on the right. If you want to change the name of any of these, just click on the ellipsis to the right of the assignment category name and click edit. And then again, if you want to move this for any reason, just click on the eight dots to the left of the name and just drag up and down. And then to create assignments, you click assignments, quizzes, or discussions, and then just title them appropriately so that way students know what they are depending on what feature you use. So again, I created a warm up using the quiz feature but I don't want my students panicking thinking it is a warm up because if I click on this real quick, they will see all this. They'll see this part right here. They'll see quizzes right here. And so that's why it's important that you title it, whatever it is that you want to use it for. So my students know, or they quickly learn that if it says warm up, it's not a quiz, it's a warm up. So I hope you were able to learn at least one thing from this video. If there was anything that you liked about the video, then hit that like button, comment down below, and or subscribe if you haven't already done so. And until my next video, bye and thank you for watching.